Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Monday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, do not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is another one of those occasions where Jesus is again showing those that are in religious authority that they have really missed the mark in terms of understanding Uh, the works of God from the rules of God, and that they have put so much emphasis on the rules, so much emphasis on legalism, on doing what is, quote, right, unquote, that they have missed the heart of God, missed his desire to really minister and be a part of the lives of those who are his creatures. Here in this passage, Jesus again identifies this woman as a daughter of Abraham. She is a part of the covenant. God has purposefully entered into a relationship with a people and desires to help that people. And interestingly, this um, ruler of the synagogue, this leader, is upset with Jesus, but basically he chastises the the woman and says, you know, There are six days you can be cured. Come on one of those days. She didn't even come asking for healing. That wasn't even why she showed up. She was there to worship God. But Jesus, when he saw her, declared to her her freedom from this infirmity, laid his hands upon her, delivered her, healed her, and brought her into a place of, again, standing erect and being a fully functioning part of the community of faith that is there. And so, obviously, he challenges the the leader of the synagogue with an obvious parallel. On the Sabbath, don't you take care of your livestock? Well, isn't this woman, a daughter of Abraham, of even greater value than an ox or a donkey? He was really chastising him and and showing him the foolishness of of what he was saying that on the sabbath just as you want to water your livestock god wants to pour out his mercy on those here you know it's almost uh, amazing that they don't even realize the fact that in reading the scriptures that at, at which they do in the synagogue that is a part of god pouring himself out to the people that God is not uh, uh, immobile on the Sabbath. He is there with his people, and he is there especially with this woman. And, of course, I love the fact that there was this turnaround where the ruler who thought that he could uh, really incite the crowd uh, was humiliated. And the crowd, recognizing the reality of what had taken place, but also the the fact that it could take place beautifully and and freely on the sabbath rejoiced at what they saw happening 
and also likening that and, and connecting that to all of the other great things that our Lord has done. Well, a beautiful passage of Scripture. And may we remember that God is always at work uh, for those of us who desire to live for him. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it's great to be with you today, and uh, we look forward to tomorrow uh, to be together again for another edition of Day by Day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.